Welcome back everybody, it is Squabble here and today I'm going to be showing you the best deck that you can use in any arena. You should unlock all of these troops in Arena 1, so you'll be able to use them throughout every arena. It works very good, but I'm not too sure about the Legends Arena. So welcome back, here we are in the first replay. I have my first starting hand as the Giant the dragon, the mini pecker, and the archers. This deck is very, very, very good for low level players because when you're a low level, people don't really know what to do. But as you see, as you get higher up, people know how to counter. But this deck still works very well if you know how to play it right. So as you see, my giants is going up there on the left side. He's just tanking that damage from those archers. I put in the Valkyrie, the mini pecker, and the archers. The Mini Pekka and the Valkyrie absolutely take out all of those Barbarians and then together, they're high five. No, I'm kidding. Together, they take out the first tower within 45 seconds. The Archers just finish off those Spear Goblins and get two hits off onto the tower. Actually, three hits that was. Wow, that was very good. Now, he's going to go a Hog Rider. I am going to drop the Bomb Tower, but fairly drop the Bomb Tower because I wanted the Hog Rider to go towards the Bomb Tower, but I didn't, and that unfortunately cost me one tower. But now we do have a tower on the fence, Dragon in the back, and a Giant as the tank. For some reason, the Dragon just decided to go over there to the left tower, but luckily enough, it still almost took out that Wizard. It was a very bad drop placement of my Valkyrie. She ended up losing half her health before she even got to the Wizard. And she's going to take a couple hits off. And now my bomb tower is just going to get rid of those spear goblins. Hopefully have enough hit points left to get rid of those archers. But unluckily they are still out of range of my bomb tower. My archers just finish them off. They all finish each other off at the same time. That was pretty funny. Nothing else was hitting at them. And now he's going to go for his hog rider push. And there we go again. I dropped my bomb tower in. I knew he was going to freeze it. And then he poisons it for me to drop anything, so I just decide to fireball. Very good on my behalf right there. Now I go for the push up here on the right side. He drops in his barbarians and his archers to cover that. And I put my dragon in to cover the giant. But unluckily the giant dies, the Valkyrie goes in. I'm just going to put the bomb tower there. And again, I thought he was going to freeze it. But he didn't freeze it, luckily he didn't because he may have got that tower out. Dragon at the top was still taking some hit points off. Now the bomb tower's got a little bit of hit points left. And the archers are going up the left hand lane. Mini Pekka to destroy that wizard. And the barbarians to destroy the Mini Pekka and the dragon to finish them off. But his archers are going at it. Now the Valkyrie takes the swing. Goes for it. The dragon's going to take everything down. Archers in the back. He now has a prince. Which my Valkyrie and my archers are going to take out. Actually no. Just that last archer takes it out. Luckily. I then put my bomb tower right in the very middle. So he can't freeze the tower. And the bomb tower. He had to decide what one he wanted to freeze. Mini Pekka destroys that wizard. Now running up with the Valkyrie, he has archers, spear goblins, freezes it all. Luckily, that one archer is not frozen yet, and that gives, gives me enough time to work more on my push, which then is the dragon. He then poisons my fireball and takes the three crown win. Now we're going to jump straight ahead in to a live match and we shall see how we go so i'm going to hit him with a thumbs up and let's just see what we're working with here we're starting off with the bomb tower i'm going to put my bomb tower right up there in the middle get rid of that very mainstream hog rider goblin tactic and absolutely destroyed there we go there's a six to four alexa trade worked very well archers in the back just to get them to move up and by the time they get to the top I will have full elixir again putting my giant up in the top and now I'm going to let him tank the damage for those archers he unluckily he does have the bomb tower and the princess oh my gosh I'm just going to fireball that princess get rid of her straight away we do not want her 
He's going to go a hog rider on the opposite side. Wow, he's going to try a counter push right here. I'm just going to counter push even more with that mini pecker. Hopefully the mini pecker can get rid of those goblins and run up to the tower and get a few hits off. Can he do it? Can? No, he cannot. He just zapped that mini pecker to smithereens. All right, so now I'm just going to wait it up again until... 10 Alexa, just wait it out so I can counter whatever he does. I'm just going to put my archers in the back because I do not like sitting at 10 Alexa. Everyone should know this by now. And yes, now he's going to drop in his Alexa collector. I'm going to go the giant in the front, just like the last push. See what it, we're working with. I'm going to goblin barrel over that side. I should not have done that because of that bomb tower. Luckily, the bomb tower is tanking all the damage from the giant got his tower down to 582 and his princess is in the back and i'm very upset that i used my fireball so now i'm gonna have to wait for her to get to the middle of the river he's gonna drop his hog rider and goblins i'm gonna drop my dragon onto his princess very well done there and the dragon is going to completely ignore that bomb tower. Is it going to take that whole tower down? Is it? One more hit. One more hit. 50 HP. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm going to start my push up from the back. His princess is coming down. I'm going to put the archers on the other side just to recuperate from when his hog rider is absolutely tanking that. Oh my gosh. He got the one crown, but so did I at the same time. I'm going to drop my bomb tower. No, I'm not. I'm going to drop the dragon in and another giant. Let's just see. I need, I'm just going to try and overwhelm this guy right now. Goblin Barrel in the back. He just lightning spells my dragon and two giants. Oh my gosh. Can the goblins get it down? They are not getting attacked. Oh my gosh. They're not. Oh, luckily he had the prince there. Valkyrie's walking up to the princess. Wow, the Valkyrie just got sidetracked so many times. I'm going to counter his bomb tower with my dragon. He's going to go a hog rider. I'm going to counter that with my bomb tower. Dragon almost locked on. Dragon is locked on. It's going to take a few more hit points up. Dropping in the mini pecker. Hopefully he can go up. And a giant. Probably should have dropped the giant before the mini pecker. Because now the giant is just going to slowly die. Archers to get rid of those spear goblins and everything Dragon in this is absolutely mayhem right here as you can see this Counters very well it pushes very well and it can just do the same thing on any other side So there's 14 seconds left in overtime. It doesn't look like anyone's gonna win yet I'm not too sure what is going to happen six seconds left. Oh my gosh. Are we gonna win? Can this freaking goblin barrel do it? Oh no, he decided to zap it Alright guys, well that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. It is a best deck for all the arenas in my opinion because it can counter, it can push, it can do all that sort of things. And also guys, let me know if you like the live attacks and want to see more of that. I'd be happy to do that shit. And other than that, peace out everybody.